All right then, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new view site so that we can then work with Pinya in that view site. So we're going to use npm and first of all, cd to the directory you want to make this in, by the way. So we'll say npm and then init and then view at latest like so. And this is going to generate a new view project for us. It's going to ask us a few questions. Press yes to this. The project name, I'm just going to call this Pinya iPhone tasks, call it whatever you want. Uh, add TypeScript, we're not doing that. JSX, no. View router, we don't need that. Now, for Pinya, I'm going to select no, purely because I don't want this to come along with all of the boilerplate from the get-go. I want to show you how to install and set up Pinya from the very beginning. But in the future, if you're using Pinya, then you could choose yes. I'm going to choose no, and then no for this, no, no. And there we go. Okay, so now we need to CD into Pinya hyphen tasks, the project name that we just created. And then I'm gonna open this up in Visual Studio Code by tapping code, then a space, then full stop. Press enter. It's gonna open up the starter project for us right here. So let me open up the terminal now. And what we have to do is install all the project dependencies that are listed in package.json. So let me just zoom in a little bit. So we can see all of the dependencies. We have view right here and we have these dev dependencies. I'm just going to say down here inside the pin tasks directory, npm install. To install all those dependencies, we can click off this and that's just going to take a minute or so. Okay, so now that's all done. What I'd like to do is just go through this starter project a little bit and clean it up because we don't need all of the starter components that this project gives us like these things here. So let's start by deleting all of these components. We're going to make our own later on. And also in the app.view, what I'm going to do is delete the script tag at the top and then everything inside the template we'll get rid of as well, just so we can start from scratch. The styles down here, we don't need any of those. Let's get rid of all of them and let's save this. Then inside the assets folder, we don't need the icons folder. So let's delete that and also the base CSS that comes with the starter project. We don't need that. We don't need this logo either. We are going to keep the main.css, but make sure you delete anything that's inside here. I've already done that, so we can cross that off. And then if we go to the index.html file, what I want to do is just paste one thing in here, and that is this material icons font. So we are going to be using that to add some icons to a couple of the components later on. So make sure you get that in there. You can get that from this website right here. And also, if you want to get it from the GitHub repo, which is over here, woohoo, you can do. And oops, let me take that back over here. Don't know what's going on here. Get that out of the screen. And also, I'm going to drop in a logo inside the source assets folder right here. So this is the Pinya logo, just a little pineapple. And again, you can get that from my repo or from the Pinya website. Really doesn't matter. So now I think that is pretty much it. We have a blank canvas ready to go. Now we can start to flesh this out a little bit. So the first thing I want to do is address this root component app.view. And we're going to start with the template. And in fact, what I'm going to do is use an extension. So let me show you this extension I've got installed called view VS Code Snippets. What this allows you to do is use different snippets to boilerplate different things in view. So let me just show you this. I can type vbase and then hyphen, and we have all these different options, right? The one I want is NS for no styles, but if you want it with a SAS setup, you choose this, etc. So NS, now we get this template and also this script with this object that's been exported. So let's start off with the template. This right here is going to be a main tag instead. Then inside that, we're gonna have different sections. I'm gonna start by just doing the heading. So the heading will be the header tag, and inside that header tag, we want an image tag. Now the source is going to be dot forward slash. If we go over here inside the assets folder, so assets, and then we want the pinya hyphen logo dot SVG. And then the alt can just say pinya logo. All right, so that's the image tag. And then below that, an H1, which says pinya tasks, the name of the website. All right, so that's pretty much it for the template, to be honest. Also, I just want to add a little bit of CSS and I'm gonna copy this from my repo. So let me just paste them in here. Saves me typing all this out from scratch and saves you watching it. 
So first of all, we have this import, which is importing a font from Google font called Poppins. And then down here, the body, the background is a very light gray. The text color is a dark gray margin zero. Now every element inside the body, we give a font family of Poppins. Now the header, text align center, background is slightly lighter, no darker gray than the background of the body. The panning top is 20 pixels, display flex, and that is so these two sit next to each other right here. Justify content to the center, so they sit in the middle and align item center as well. That's so kind of along the X axis, they're the same height, they're aligned in the center. And then the image down here, we say the max width, 60 pixels, transform, and we just rotate it a little bit, minus 10 degrees. The H1, we strip out the margin, give it a font size, bit of padding top, margin left, a color of 777, which is a medium gray, and we rotate that as well, just a slight amount. So that's pretty much it. Now we want to preview this in the browser. So to do that, open up your terminal, control T, and we want to say npm run dev and press enter. This is going to spin up a local dev server, and then we can click on this to open it in a browser. All right, so here we go. This is the website in full flow, looking pretty boring at the minute. But in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to install Pinya, and I'm going to show you how to make your first Pinya store.